In the lush hills of West Java, Indonesia, lies a remarkable structure that challenges our understanding of ancient history. Today we try to understand and explain why archaeologists say this sacred place is so significant right here on Documentify TV. Known as Gunung Padang, or Mountain of Enlightenment, to the local Sundanese people, this site may soon be recognized as the oldest pyramid on Earth, surpassing even the Great Pyramids of Giza in age. For years, Gunung Padang has been revered as a sacred site by locals, who refer to it as a Pundan Barundak, or Stepped Pyramid. The visible terraces ascending to its peak hint at the sophisticated engineering concealed within. However, it's only recently that archaeologists have begun to uncover the true nature and historical significance of this ancient structure. A team of Indonesian scientists has made groundbreaking discoveries, suggesting that Gunung Padang contains a carefully constructed pyramid core within the hill, formed from the natural lava flows of an extinct volcano. Even more intriguing is the possibility of vast chambers hidden within the pyramid's interior, holding untold secrets of our distant past. The age of Gunung Padang is truly astounding. Radiocarbon dating techniques place the initial stages of its construction within the last glacial period, with some estimates reaching as far back as 27,000 years ago. To put this into perspective, Gunung Padang predates Göbekli Tepe in Turkey, currently recognized as the world's oldest megalithic structure by a significant margin. From 2011 to 2015, a research team led by geologist Danny Hillman, Natawijaya from Indonesia's National Research and Innovation Agency, employed advanced methods to investigate the site. These included core drilling, ground-penetrating radar, and subsurface imaging, revealing the complex layers of Gunung Padang's history. The team's findings suggest that the pyramid was built in several distinct phases over millennia. The oldest section, located about 30 meters below the surface, likely dates from between 25,000 and 14,000 BC. After a period of abandonment, construction activity resumed around 7,900 to 6,100 BC, expanding the core mound with various materials, including rock columns and gravelly soils. Interestingly, Around 6,000 to 5,500 BC, these ancient builders appeared to intentionally bury older sections of the site, raising questions about their motivations and the meanings behind such actions. The final known phase of construction occurred between 2,000 to 1,100 BC, when builders added the topsoil and stone terraces visible today. The skill demonstrated by these ancient builders is truly remarkable. Researchers note that the builders of Unit 3 and Unit 2 at Gunung Padang must have possessed remarkable masonry capabilities, challenging conventional views of prehistoric societies as simple hunter-gatherer cultures. This revelation points to a previously underestimated complexity within ancient societies of the region. The dedication to modifying and reoccupying the site over thousands of years suggests that Gunung Padang held great importance to its builders. This continuity of occupation and enhancement underscores the site's enduring cultural and possibly spiritual significance. Yet many secrets still lie hidden within Gunung Padang. Seismic studies have revealed the presence of large cavities and chambers within the structure, some up to 15 meters in length with ceilings reaching an impressive height of 10 meters. The research team plans to explore these hidden spaces further by drilling into these areas and lowering cameras to illuminate what has been concealed for millennia. The ongoing research at Gunung Padang exemplifies how multidisciplinary approaches, combining archaeological, geological, and geophysical techniques, can reveal the grandeur of ancient civilizations. It demonstrates the power of technology and collaborative effort in uncovering the layers of our past. With each new discovery, Gunung Padang continues to reshape our understanding of the prehistoric world. It may not only rival, but also predate the world's most famous megalithic sites, potentially rewriting the narrative of human history if it is proven to be correct. 
As research progresses, we can expect to hear much more about Gunung Padang as the scientific community studies and gathers further information from this archaeological site. This being said, there is much speculation from mainstream colleagues regarding the claims made by the research carried out. They say core samples do not necessarily mean that there was human activity and that merely the geological samples only show the date of the core sample with no evidence of human interaction. Our take on it here is that we agree that the relevance of the core samples does not support the dating of this site. Human activity was here, but we feel there is not enough evidence to support a pyramid structure at this location. Let us know in the comments your thoughts and theories. Have you heard about Gunung Padang? Perhaps you have seen this remarkable part of our past? Until then, folks, see you in our next video right here on Documentify TV.